After every CPR attempt, or really any emergency situation that we're dealing with, it's worth taking a few minutes to debrief with the team, to just talk through what happened, discuss what went well, and what things you might want to do differently the next time. There's no better time to learn from a situation than to take just a few minutes afterwards to go through it while it's still fresh in your minds. Okay, everybody, I'd like to take just a minute and talk about how we think that went. So, um, what do you guys think went well during this code? seemed like we were really well organized and functioned well as a team. I thought you did a great job with your compressions and ventilating. I think it's really cool we got Max back. <laughs> yes, it is cool. So, um, how about some things we could do better for next time? It was really hard to intubate Max in lateral recumbency. I've never actually intubated a dog in lateral. I agree, that is really difficult. Does anybody have any tips for Maggie? Maybe we could all get some practice intubating patients in lateral when we do our routine surgeries. That's a great idea. I'm really glad Randy didn't give atropine. That could have been really bad for Max. Mm -hmm. I mean, I when awkward moments arise during a debriefing, it's tempting to jump in and offer your perspective to redirect the conversation. But it can be a much more powerful experience if you allow the silence to linger for a short period of time and give the team members the opportunity to offer their insights. They'll learn much more from that experience if they're allowed to drive the conversation than if you take over. Oh, I mean, I'm, I think it's great that Randy uh, repeated it back to us and let us catch the mistake. Yeah, and you caught that the cycle was too short. I realized I didn't know where the epi was on the crash card. I think we could review that once a month. Good suggestions. Okay. Anybody have anything else they'd like to add? No. Nope. That code went smoothly. Okay. So we're going to practice intubating patients in lateral, and we're going to make sure we review the crash card at least once a month. Great job, everybody. Dr. Elgin used a very simple but effective technique to close the debriefing. She summarized the major points raised by the members of the team during the debriefing session, and then she opened it up for any last comments the team members might have. This allowed the debrief to end on a very positive note, allowing everyone to feel included in the process.